Four weeks after its controversial arrival in Sydney Harbour, the Ruby Princess has left more than 600 Australians with COVID-19. For Graeme Lake and his wife Carla, the cruise from Sydney to New Zealand was to celebrate Carla's 75th birthday. We met through a blind date back in the 90s. We've both been married before. Passionate travellers, they had seen the world with Princess Cruises about 20 times. But about eight days into this journey, Carla started showing symptoms. We both got rheumatoid arthritis and we have this dry cough, but Carla's was getting worse and worse and I kept saying, you're coughing bad. I didn't take any notice. So I believe she's probably started to pick it up on the second or third day before the cruise finished. After disembarking from the ship and travelling back home to Marumba Downs north of Brisbane, both fell seriously ill and ended up in Caboolture Hospital. She was coughing but we talked and she said she's fighting and she was fighting. Carla's condition worsened. And they moved us up to the ICU. Everything went haywire from there. Ten days after leaving the ship, Carla died in hospital. Carla was the most beautiful and easy... ..easiest going wife a man could ever have. I don't think she, we ever argued because she wouldn't argue. This cruise has ruined us. Ruined her completely. It's broke me. It's broke the kids, the grandkids. You know, she didn't deserve it. She went on a cruise for Bertie. Yeah. So yeah, it's really, really devastating. I'm, even now, I'm still struggling. On the 8th of March, the Ruby Princess was set to leave Sydney for a 13-day tour of New Zealand. But boarding was delayed while New South Wales Health carried out tests. The company says those tests came back negative for COVID-19 and that there was no reason to believe there was COVID-19 on the ship. Jason, the thing I, if I lose sleep over, I want to know when the ship came in on the 8th of March, i really not like to know did we go onto a dirty ship. It is bothering me. On board were Bill and Mary Behrens. The holiday was a gift from husband to wife. My dear wife has looked after me for 54 years and I felt it was a great idea to return the favour. It was lovely. It was beautiful. Both are now isolating in their home in Western Sydney after leaving the Ruby Princess. They tested positive to COVID-19 and wish they'd never boarded the ship. If we had a known that, we would not have gone on. No way, no way. But we weren't given the choice of that, were we? No. We were just given the OK, you can all go aboard now. On the 16th of March, the federal government announced it was banning cruise ships from arriving in Australia. While still at sea, the cruise operator told passengers that it had decided to cancel the cruise and expedite their return to Sydney. The Ruby Princess returned to Sydney and despite the ban was allowed to dock on the 19th of March. New South Wales Health was aware that some passengers on board had flu-like symptoms, but ultimately decided the ship was low risk. It says that no cases of COVID-19 were identified on board the ship before it docked. We were just heard it through, keep walking, keep walking what was said, keep going, keep going. It was like a big celebration, all the ship crew was all lined up alongside the deck. The more than 2,500 passengers on board were advised to self-isolate for 14 days once they arrived home. For hundreds of passengers, that meant flying interstate and abroad. There are now 662 confirmed COVID cases among Ruby Princess passengers around Australia. At least 18 people have died.
British traveller Michelle Kelly returned to the UK and says she, her wife and their two-year-old son fell violently ill but haven't been able to be tested. Within a couple of days I was seriously ill um, and thought I was going to die. Um, I couldn't breathe, the coughing was uncontrollable, the sore throat <coughs> was just unimaginable. And then the baby started coughing a lot and was struggling with his breathing at one point, so we had the paramedics in there for him. He had to go to hospital. The day after the Ruby Princess docked, New South Wales Health wrote to passengers saying there were several confirmed COVID-19 cases on the cruise ship. Two days later, the cruise company said those who tested positive were likely to have been infectious while on the ship. Uh, well, I'm angry. So I want justice. I mean, where's the CEO? He, uh, my phone hasn't been disconnected, but I haven't had one phone call. The coughing and spluttering, that was yeah, terrible. Very, very bad. You get different symptoms each day. Mainly the headaches, the sore throat, runny nose. Your muscles in your body just ache all over. It was terrible. You don't sleep of the night. Bill and Mary's son, Danny, also tested positive to COVID-19 after meeting his parents when they came home. This is very highly contagious and everyone should be cautious. I'm presuming that he, he got it from us from the time that he came down with it. Where else? The Ruby Princess remains in lockdown in Wollongong, south of Sydney, with more than 1,000 crew members on board. More than 150 have tested positive to COVID-19. Well, they're more and more anxious, they're angry, they're starved of information. Uh, there's no consistent line of information what's going on. These people are desperate to get out. They want to get off that ship, they want to get home to their loved ones. Would you or your department have done anything differently looking back? I think I'm very keen that um, my department, this, my staff, participate openly in all of the investigations underway and if our, there are learnings at the end of it, we will reflect upon those and incorporate that. So I'm committed to um, in cooperating fully with all of the investigations and I know that my staff are very keen to cooperate fully with all of the investigations. Premier, can I just ask you one more question? Just reflecting on the death toll from the Ruby Princess, do you think that the families of the loved ones deserve an apology? Oh, I've said everything to date on that issue already and um, all of us want to get to the bottom uh, of the issue and of course um, anybody who loses a loved one um, to this horrible disease deserves our uttermost condolences and deepest sympathies and I express that um, to all people who've lost their loved ones. Two separate inquiries into why the passengers were allowed to disembark have begun but it could take many months until the families of the victims are provided with answers. Who do you hold responsible for your illness? Ruby Princess, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Definitely Ruby yeah. Princess. Yeah. Princess, I'm going to do whatever I can to get justice for Carl.